The story of Thomas Coram and the founding of the Foundling Hospital in 1739. Thomas was born in Lyme Regis in 1668. He never received a proper education and when he was 11 he was sent off to sea by his father who was a master mariner. At the age of 26 he made his way to the Americas where he settled in Massachusetts and ran a shipyard. In 1704, at the age of 36, Thomas returns to England with his American wife. Once back in England, Thomas settled in Rotherhithe and regularly travelled into London to engage in his business interests, a journey of about four miles. As he drives into London, he sees the beautiful grand houses and smart iron railings. But he also sees young children begging for food. Thomas was frequently shocked by the sight of infants lying in the streets, often in a dying state, with no one to care for them or treat them. Raising the funds to build the hospital. For 17 years, he tried to start a hospital founded to care for the abandoned children. He did this by running a series of balls, musical recitals and art exhibitions where his wealthy friends were invited to give funds to start the new hospital. Thomas had two exceedingly famous friends, William Hogarth the painter, who painted satirical scenes of London life, and George Frederick Handel, the composer of the famous Messiah and the water music. A big party was held and all the great and good of London were there. Yes, I must say the wine is quite delightful. <laughs> Money was donated, crowns, shillings, pounds, sovereigns and guineas. All donations for the worthy cause, the Foundling Hospital. Young children were rescued from the streets and the hospital was a place where orphan babies could be looked after, all thanks to Thomas Coram and his benefactors.